Okay guys, now let's meet a robotics engineer and learn about some of the different types of robots being built at NASA. Thanks Jen. My name is Dr. Ayana Howard here at JPL, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. This is the Mars Yard, but we actually test the rovers before sending them to Mars. NASA uses robots to do things that are too dangerous for humans. Robots are used to explore planets and even maintain and repair the outside of vehicles, such as the International Space Station. Hey guys, did you design your robot to do things that are too dangerous for you to do or too tedious? Robots are the tools that allow scientists to reach beyond the Earth to other planets. In the 1970s, NASA sent a spacecraft to explore the planet Mercury. It was called the Mariner 10 probe. It flew past the planet three times and took thousands of photos. For the first time, scientists could actually see what the surface of the planet looks like. Rovers are actually robots that can land on other planets and move around. Sojourner was the first of the rovers to land on the planet Mars. Its mission was to test the rocks in the air. It takes several minutes for a command signal to reach a robot in space. Sometimes a robot can't wait for mission control. It has to make decisions on its own. This ability is called autonomy. Sojourner was semi-autonomous, which means it can make some decisions on its own. I work on autonomy for Mars exploration. We want to land precisely where there are good samples to study. We want to be careful so we don't hit any cliffs or boulders on the surface of Mars. We can use airbags, but we can't land precisely. That's why we use artificial intelligence. Not only can we use artificial intelligence to land the spacecraft safely on Mars, but we can use the same intelligence to give the rovers a little bit more smarts when they actually get to the surface. The future of space exploration depends on building these smart robots. Thank you, Dr. Howard. Okay guys, let's head over to the NASA Ames Research Center here in California to learn more about robots from researcher Maria Bullitt. What a cool robot! Tell me about K9. Uh, K9 is a prototype of a Mars exploration rover with stereo cameras so it can take 3D pictures and it's got an arm that lets us practice putting science instruments on rocks and on the soil. Okay Maria, so how will K9 know what to do on Mars? It will receive instructions from Earth on what experiments to conduct. A robot's shape, capabilities, and method of locomotion depend on what you want it to do. Well, besides K9, what other robots does NASA have? We're testing planetary robots in the Rio Tinto, or Red River region of Spain, where the terrain looks a lot like the surface of Mars. That robot is built to burrow into the ground and look for signs of life. Robots are also being built to maintain and repair the outside of a space vehicle. A Robonaut is a humanoid robot that performs tasks that other robots can't. Well From the safety of the space station, an astronaut controls the movement of Robonaut's hands with a control system known as telepresence. AirCam is another experimental robot that's being designed to fly outside the space station and lets astronauts inside see what's going on outside. Scientists are also designing robots to help us out here on Earth. Kismet, the sociable robot. Oh, uh, did he say he loves me? I love you too. Scientists at MIT are working on building a robot that can interact with people. So there are many different kinds of robots that are designed to work in many different environments. That's right. Robots may need parts that can see, parts that enable them to move around, and parts that make decisions. All these parts must work together for the robot to function. They make up a mechanical system. Thanks, Maria. So, can you think of a mechanical system? Remember, a mechanical system is something that's made up of many different parts, and those parts work together so the system will function. Now it's time for your teacher to pause the program and for you to answer the following questions. What is a mechanical system? And what are some examples of mechanical systems? 